It took me 50 years to assume one name, Colette. And even then, it was my father's family name. Now, I want no man to bar a door or open it for me. As Gertrude Stein said, I am I. Most people do not believe that writers suffer. Our friend Paul Valéry collapsed and died of poetry. Yes, poetry! <laughs> I was a very bad mother, both too old and too busy to dote upon a child. And truly, I was more interested in writing and acting. I played with George Wagner, who was to stab me with his dagger out of jealousy. Well, he happened to catch my bodice with his dagger, tearing my dress and exposing my breasts. Oh. <laughs> a rather not so uh, a noisy audience suddenly fell silent for a long time, during which I let them enjoy their pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> I was not a good stepmother either, for I let Bertrand seduce me. I was seeing his father, my husband, Henri, with greater infrequency. The boy was 16, and I was somewhat older. <laughs> he came to me, shy, flowers and chocolates in hand, so handsome. After his initial boyish reticence, he melted into me, and we were as one. He offered me his virginity, and I shamelessly took it. A man can never know what a struggle and how difficult it is to be a woman. One is always a woman in a man's world. <clears throat> Giving becomes a kind of egotistical frenzy. And if you don't want me to burst with everything that I have given you, then I advise you not to refuse me, for I cannot give less. The rivalry is in giving. You cannot go from one to another without betrayal. A maternal fury is both savage and indiscreet. I must tell you that I learned to like you. But now, I love you. That is not a thing I say to men. Jean, I am looking at death in the mirror every day. It is like bees working in a glass hive. When I return to my room, I shall be guided by the light blue fanal in my window and cover myself with endless fabrics and write. I shall lift my head on occasion to stare at my collection of colorful Chinese glass paperweights collected over the years and then back to my papers on the lap desk given to me by the Princess de Polignac. Writing is like any other work. You pick up your tools and you go at it, hoping that you will have the readers, those readers who know how to read you well. I hope that I exhibit the supreme chic of knowing when to stop. <laughs>